history of the guitar. The first ever guitar-like instrument was invented in Spain in the 16th century BC. It was called the Guitarra Latina and was an instrument designed to be played from the waist. It could come with more or less than six strings. Other instruments that may have led to the invention of the guitar is the Hittite lute, which was invented in the 13th century BC, and the Synthara, which was invented in Paris in the 9th century. The acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar is a guitar that relies on its hollow body to amplify the sounds of the strings. The two main types of acoustic guitars are the steel string guitar and the nylon acoustic guitar. The nylon acoustic guitar is better for beginners as its strings are plastic and soft. It can also be used for finger picking. The steel string is more for advanced players and has got steel strings which are sharper and harder on your fingers. This is a nylon acoustic guitar and it sounds like this when it's finger picked. This is what it sounds like when it is strummed. This is a steel string guitar. This is what it sounds like when it is finger picked. This is what it sounds like when it's strummed. The invention of the electric guitar. Another type of guitar is the electric guitar. A man named Adolf Rickenbacker invented the first electric guitar in 1932. The electric guitar uses magnetic pickups which sense the vibrations coming from the strings. It then turns the vibrations into an electrical signal which goes through the lead that is plugged into your guitar and then out of the amplifier. Shortly after the invention of the electric guitar, a man named Les Paul came out with his solid body guitar in 1941. Shortly after, Leo Fender came out with his brand of guitar known as the Fender Series in 1953. Modern day guitars. Modern day guitars are a combination of acoustic and electric guitars. In fact, some estimate that there are around 780 million guitars in the world. The two main types of guitars are the Fender Stratocaster and the Gibson Les Paul. Both of these guitars have their own unique sounds. The Les Paul is used for more grungy rock and blues. <laughs> quite loyal to a brand. In fact, some guitarists have made guitars quite famous. Famous guitarists. Jimi Hendrix is the greatest guitarist in the history of the world. During the 1960s, he was the pioneer of rock music. He walked out onto the stage and produced wicked sounds that no one had ever heard before. David Gilmour from Pink Floyd is another great guitarist who followed Jimi Hendrix's footsteps. He created new effects, but his style of playing influenced millions of people in today's world. What will guitars look like in the future? I think the guitars of the future are going to be smart. They will be able to tune themselves and have inbuilt effects which will reduce the likeliness of having the pedal. The guitar shown here has a magnetic back which you can easily take off to replace pickups and strings. This is a revolutionary guitar because it is so easy to change the electrical parts inside of it. It means that you can have one guitar body and change the sound from a Les Paul to a Stratocaster. Digital guitar pedals. A guitar pedal is used to make a series of different effects which your guitar amp doesn't necessarily have. This means that you can customise and create your own unique sounds the clean signal of the guitar goes through the pedal and gets changed to whatever effect you are on. It then goes out of the pedal and into the amp. Here are a few effects that I have got on my pedal. 
This is a clean that doesn't have any reverb. This has got some reverb. sound like you have an acoustic guitar. And this is a delay which repeats the note. This is a wah-wah. Guitar amps. A guitar amp is powered by electricity and is designed to receive a signal from a guitar and amplify it. An amp can have digital effects like reverb, which gives a sound like an, you're in an echoey room, and distortion, which is used in rock music. The measurement of an amp is in watts, and they can come from 10 watt bedroom amps to 200 watt performance amps. In this room, we have got a PA, a bass amp, a bass amp which we use for drums, my brother's guitar amp, and my guitar amp. The controls of this uh, our distortion, which is like this, and clean. It has also got some digital effects here, which is reverb, delay, chorus, and flanger. The main controls of the amp is the volume, the clean, the bass, the treble, the gain for the distortion, the bass, the treble, and the volume. Well that brings me to the end. I hope you learned something about guitars or the history of the guitar. Thanks for watching.